I think the first discoveries are always the most exciting. It's sort of opening the door to your whole lifetime of being a scientist. It's not a simple process. You don't come out the other end until you've discovered something completely new and unknown. You want to believe in the science that's happening there. One of the biggest challenges that I had in graduate school was the stress of getting into a group, choosing an advisor. That's the most important decision you'll make at the end of the day. The opportunity to come to a chemistry department and do a substantive four-month rotation in one group, four-month rotation in another group, and really get to know the advisor, get to know the group, get to know the science, get to know what it's like doing the science, I think is a very unique aspect of our program. I kind of factored it in, would I actually be happy here for five years? And this was one of the programs that made me feel very welcome. The faculty were super friendly. The program I came from, it was like all, it was almost all male faculty, which I didn't really think about at the time until I got here. Diversity is the way to excellence. There's just no doubt about that. For us to compete on a world stage, which we are, we absolutely have to recruit from the widest group of people that we possibly can. We want students to see that you can be a successful chemist no matter what your area of chemistry, no matter what your gender, no matter what your race. We want our department to highlight that. When I was thinking about coming here, I talked to a friend that had gone to school here, and he called it intellectual nirvana. What's the next battery going to look like? What's the next generation of medicine going to look like? How do molecular machines work? How do chemical reactions in the environment impact our health? The university is really strong across the board. There's fantastic experts in many different areas, and that has really opened up a lot of opportunities for us and my students. Chemistry is really moving to the interfaces, at the interfaces with materials, the interfaces with biology, the interfaces with a number of areas. Having that mixture of engineering, physics, chemistry, biology, it's really helpful to pursue something bigger, to pursue something that might have the chance of impacting our society. Every single faculty member has an active research program that's well funded. That's very hard to find across the country. Part of that is that we have a lot of young faculty. These are people that are coming with new ideas, they're hungry, they're getting started with their research programs, they're really on the cutting edge, and they provide so much energy for the department in all kinds of different ways. The most important thing that I want to see students develop in this program is to really learn to be independent thinkers and to take that creativity and talent um, and to you know, apply that towards independently asking new questions, things that you know, I haven't thought of.